let's see. A long time ago, I wrote Edward Hoagland a fan letter because I liked his essays. Because they kind of included what I think of as the whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. In other words, landscape, animals, and humans mm -hmm. all sort of living together. And I, I thought that, that was interesting. And, um, and he wrote, right, you know, I used to send people a little you know, postcards. And he sent a postcard right back and said, mm -hmm. uh, would love to meet you if you're ever in New York. Here's my phone number. So a month or so later, I was in New York, and I called him. And, we used to walk his dog, and, um, mm. and he said, well, I suppose you call me because you're writing. And I said, well, you know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm writing a, an essay, or, or some, I'm, I'm writing a piece. I, you know, I didn't even know what I was doing. And, and it, that became the piece called The Solace of Open Spaces. But actually, um, so he introduced me to his editor, Harper's, um, I mean, not even in person, just, you know, made a phone call mm -hmm. and said, I, you know, I think she's serious, so, you know, give her a, a break. R at least read something that she says. So I worked on this essay. I sent it in. She, um, she said, it's really good. It needs, it needs a little work. Would you mind if I helped you with it? And I said, N not at all, because I didn't take, I never took a writing class. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I just read. And um, anyway, so she really helped me, and I kind of got it. I, I saw the method in the madness, and that was my writing course. And, and then they, um, <clears throat> that's really all I had written, though. But, well, it was supposed to be in Harper's. That was the week that Harper's went out of business. <laughs> <laughs> so Suzanne called Adla Richard Todd at Atlantic and said, you know, for God's sakes, publish this. So, and Richard Todd gave it that wonderful title, The Solace of Open Spaces. But that was all I'd written. And the, next, the day after it came out, I got a call from someone at Viking, Penguin. And it said, do you have, oh, I know it was um, Bill Strawn who, um, and he said, do you have a, um, a collection, and I said, well, oh, well, I'm working on it. <laughs> and of course, I didn't really have anything else written. <laughs> so, you know, four years later, I was in the middle of buying a cattle ranch and getting married. You know, I, I had other things to do, but, but I, I mean, I worked on it really seriously as well. <clears throat> and, and then they published the collection.